Hi everybody, Jean back with more from Mars. Part 2 of 2, wreckage, ruins and massive fish near real Vallis on Mars. Courtesy of my friend Carlos Afonso from Facebook. This is the high rise photograph we'll be checking out again called Terrain. Acquired on the 9th of November 2014. 25 centimeters per pixel. I'll be showing images cropped from the JP2 black and white map projected file. And in this video, we're analyzing the right hand half of this high rise photograph. And uh, as always, this is where you'll find uh, this area on Google Earth Mars. And uh, as mentioned in part one, at the time of this video, no high rise photograph had been loaded yet. So um, we can see there's a couple of hills in this area. And uh, as the description says, it's very close to real Vallis. There could have been lots of uh, water or liquid in this area. Very evident in the uh, high rise photograph. So the first anomaly we're checking out in part two, the second half of the high rise photograph, this anomaly right here, and it's about 12 meters across. These two massive blocks, possibly interlocking at some point and uh, moved apart. I get the straight edges running through there, right angles. <clears throat> and then uh, reminds me of another artifact I found in uh, PSP 005867-1330, a couple of hundred kilometers away in another high rise photograph. It was uh, a huge megalithic block next to a smaller artifact and the two have also separated slightly also straight edges running through there and uh, right angles as well then the star attraction is this artifact that looks um, like a fossil or a sculpture in the shape of what looks like a fish as the tail and uh, the body up there and then there's a jagged edge running through on the right hand side so what could this be please let me know what you guys and girls think in the comments below this is the first anomaly that I've seen that looks like a huge fish fossil and it looks as if the tail is slightly raised above the surface, casting a um, type of a shadow of the area. Not sure what this could be. Maybe uh, a huge bone. The other anomaly we're checking out is just a bit further down in the image. Also not quite sure what to make of this. It has a really strange shape. It's a long narrow piece. Could this be a top of an entranceway? With the way it comes through at an angle over here. And then almost at 90 degrees, it takes a turn in towards the left almost as if this is a type of an archway triangular object huge so check that out you got straight edges almost a perfect triangle the smaller features or knobs in the center reminds me of um, that huge craft shaped triangular object I showed you in part one. Get the symmetry 
and geometry there as well. Looks like some type of wreckage next to it. So this area is cleaned out. And then uh, another one of these disc shaped objects with a little dome in the center. And that's about 10 meters in diameter. Check at that there. It's like a classic UFO. Not that it is, but uh, rather natural looking. And then over here, more layered plates or slabs. That's about 25 meters across, so this structure is quite huge. And uh, look like plates stacked on top of one another. This be some type of um, underground habitat or outpost. Look at these straight lines over here, right angles. Another one of these uh, plectrum shaped disc like objects. A strange, uh, looks like flattened dome in the center. Another pattern over here. Got a straight line running through there. <coughs> This uh, over here could it be a part of this larger piece in the center, or is this a type of a slot? So, yeah, it looks like a partially buried block with a circular hole in it. Another type of block there, perhaps, with a circular feature in the center. In this artifact, so really strange. That's about 20 meters long by about 8 meters wide. Here's another triangular wedge shaped object there. Must be some type of uh, wreckage. Another piece over here. perhaps over there as well. Got a nice well-defined straight edge running through that side and it looks as if uh, these are raised off the surface. Maybe what could be openings in the shadow there. More huge anomalies there in the center of the screen and what looks like a little UFO object there to the left which is about uh, six meters in diameter we've got a triangular object with a dome-like feature in the center has that little circular object. Not sure if that is a type of a narrow opening. It's almost like windows. The dome on the top there. And then check out the strange dark spot over there. Could that be a hole? And then what looks like a little pipe running across the surface there. Another U-shaped object on the surface. And then uh, these strange features arranged in a circular pattern around that smaller dome or knob. Another huge object about 18 meters long. 
and running through the center line got what looked like uh, little pyramids or triangles especially that one maybe that's a little dome another huge object it's about 12 to 15 meters and uh, right there we've got a small hole and uh, it does look similar to other objects that I've found in part one I think um, that megalithic block there check out the sort of similarities so there's an object with a little dome or feature on it and there as well check out this rectangular block there we're looking at this there's another disc like object there two parts to it sticking off the surface so it could be uh, openings there maybe some type of venting system who knows another huge megalithic slab or block lots of them scattered about in this area possibly a destroyed structure now this block almost square is about 13 meters per side you got these straight edges running through there sharp right angle and then two smaller features on the top maybe that's a, a hole right there looking at uh, that block the one side very shiny running off at 90 degrees You've got that shorter side this rectangular shape an old dome or knob running through the center and we're looking at these two anomalies and uh, this looks rather suspicious it's a long narrow piece joined to a larger plate possibly it's partially buried runs underneath this dome like artifact with a little dome or feature on the center that'd be a type of opening Another one of these outpost type structures. Just quickly check, that's about 12 meters across. Got this skirt, the opening here by the looks of it, that uh, raised off the surface and uh, partially buried. It might even be a craft maybe crashed here but the way the sand is pushed up on this side sort of hollowed out on this side another triangular artifact about 12 meters in length the perfect symmetry in this and right there in the center a little flat dome or sphere these anomalies are one of these flat disc shaped objects the two 
almost equally sized domes running through the center maybe a block over here to the right another partial disk with a dark spot in the center over here one of these uh, sort of outpost structures this um, part to it sticking out on this long straight edge is what looks like a little pyramidal feature on this rounded part and a circular hole in the center there it's almost conical this type of a building perhaps maybe some type of machinery or tech and then this huge object out in the middle of nowhere about 10 meters across about 6 meters wide <coughs> it looks like uh, could be a type of metal plate bent down 90 degrees on that side then on top in a circular pattern we've got those features not quite sure what this could be does look uh, it's been bent at that uh, jagged edge <coughs> check out this anomaly that's about six meters in diameter looks almost like a type of a craft with two windows perhaps or maybe that's a propulsion system with a dome right there also a nice symmetry and geometry in that shape partially buried another one of these outpost type structures it's about 20 meters across Another triangle over there with a the little dome in the center. Check at this piece coming off the straight edge and a rounded part on the one side once again. And uh, this is the one I showed you a couple of moments ago. You get the similarity between those two. And also in a previous video, not too long ago, a couple of days ago, I showed you more of these in other high-rise photographs. Very common type of structure on Mars. You got this object there. It's almost like a top of a, I don't know, a top of a craft perhaps. The fuselage running through the center these being the wings almost like a flying wing configuration next to that triangle and that object is about 12 meters across if those are wings 12 meter wingspan so we're first checking out um, this anomaly here this L-shaped piece to it two parallel pieces here must be some type of wreckage perhaps and then that strange possibly craft Maybe it's a disc like object that's partially buried. I mean, this part sticking out. These uh, two darker spots on either side of this ridge line running through the center. Not sure what that could be. And then this metallic looking plate object. It looked like two features on top 
maybe openings on the sides there in the shadow. <coughs> We're looking at this wedge shaped object over here, about 8 meters long, 4 meters wide, and uh, right there in the center we've got a hole, so some geometry and symmetry in that, and this huge artifact to the right, one of these convex shapes with a strange circular pattern on the top with a little dome in the center that's about 12 meters long with those features around the smaller one in the center this huge object there with a triangular feature on the top right angle on this one side and then arranged in a semicircular fashion in this one corner of these what looked like air vents or wind traps And that looks like could be another metal plate, partially buried. Another disc-like classic UFO shape. It's about 12 meters in diameter. Could that be the dome, being the shadow that's being cast there, or is that a hole? It's difficult to tell. It reminds me of um, similar objects I showed you earlier. Check out those two. Very similar in size and shape. It's a more strange artifacts of here, especially this one this rectangular shaped object looks like metal plate that's been bent it looks like a pipe running over the edge into the sand some type of wreckage maybe more highly strange and suspicious looking objects there especially these two each of those is about 10 meters across another delta triangular shaped object there the dome in the center almost like a TR3B well, this is a really small one if it is. <laughs> Not that it is, but uh, you know, it's in the shape of uh, the classic TR3B. And then, uh, yeah, another hexagonal shaped object with a V feature on the top. That'd be an opening as well. Or is it just the type of a symbol or glyph? That weird geometry and shape to this object, that slot in there, and uh, straight edges with a right angle, yeah, not your typical boulder or rock, no clue what that is, and then uh, these anomalies. And then this here is really intriguing. Got like an L shaped here, L shaped piece here, and a dome or sphere in the center. Another piece running through on this side. 
And another one of these almost fish shaped anomalies that I showed at the beginning of the video that be a type of fossil or bone. Let's check that's about um, 50 meters long. And that little dome or sphere is about two or three meters in diameter. And then this looks like an outpost about 15 meters in diameter. This rounded side. And then uh, on this side we've got a rectangular opening. Could that be the entrance way or doorway. And then strange parts on top. Especially running through this line. It's almost like a structure. As I say, maybe that's an uh, opening behind uh, this boulder or rock here. Now let's check that opening. It's about five meters wide. Four or five meters wide. By about uh, one and a half meters high so 45 meters about 2 meters high and then another one of these huge wedge shaped triangular objects this one is about 22 meters long by about uh, 30 meters wide. We're checking out this block to the top left. See the two flat sides there. And uh, also looks if it's partially buried. So the triangular object but some depth to it and weird dark spots on the surface not as symmetrical as um, that one I showed you in part 1 and this one I showed you earlier in part 2 check out this one as well also from part 2, that thing right there in the center. These two are very symmetrical. Maybe this one as well. This one's a little bit off shape, but uh, is partially buried. So this could also be a perfect triangle. So that's it for the video. Thank you for watching. My new subscribers, thank you for joining and uh, my regular subscribers and viewers, thank you for your support by watching my videos. If you like this video, please remember to like and share and uh, if you'd like to subscribe, just a hint, remember to turn on notifications. In so doing, you'll receive a notification as soon as I upload the next video. And with that said, I think that's it. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye for now.